Hello, this tutorial is to discuss about a Python program which defines a function that computes the length of a given list or a string. We use a function which is named as compute which takes the parameter. The name of the parameter is PR. Now by using a type method we can check whether what type of data type the PR is holding whether it is an integer, it's long, it's float, it's string or it's a list. What is the type of the PR object? The PR variable. So that can be found by using the type method. Now we check whether PR is list. If it is, if the PR, the parameter is a list, we find its length by using len method and we display all the elements present in the list by using a for variable. By using a for loop with the index variable i. Now i takes each of the item from the list pr and it gets printed by using the print method. In the next if statement we check the type of pr whether it is a string. So if the type of the parameter pr is string we display the length of the string by using len method and we display the individual characters of the string by using the similar way a for loop is used. The variable index variable i takes each individual character from the string variable pr and it get printed by using the print method. To create a user defined list, we are accepting different types of data from the user. First from the user we accept an integer number which is a roll number from the user and gets stored into the variable rno. Similarly we accept a string which indicates the name of the user and gets stored into the variable name. Third, we are using another variable PER which is used to store the percentage of the user. By using these three variables RNO, name and PER, a list is created. The name of the list is list1. Now to display the length and the details of the list which is list1 call the method which we have created the name of the method is compute and we pass the parameter list1 similarly we call compute method with a string variable in the program we use a string variable name to store the username so the compute method is called in this case with two different data types. One is we have called with a list, another with a string variable. Execute and see the program output.
Thank you for watching this video.